Hey watch fam, welcome back to the channel for the most relaxing watch reviews on YouTube. Just when we thought the original Plastic Fantastic hyped mania of Swatch Moonwatch was dying down, ever so held together by the steady stream of limited releases this year with different coloured hands, another collaboration has hit the table. Today with the official launch releases of Blanc Palm Swatch 50 Fathoms Collection or scuba 50 or $50. Get it? <laughs> My first thoughts after seeing the release and pricing at 400 US dollars or 630 Australian dollars was nice. Some butte colorways, but why though? Do you yeah. feel it cheapens a luxury brand and feels like a quick cash grab around hype? There are five watches, all signifying different oceans, with the System 51 automatic movement inside and a nice open case back design. The Antarctic looks ever so beautiful so far combined with the vintage dial design, especially in that white grey ghost colourway. Hmm, let me not get too distracted by the beautiful Antarctic model. The premise of these Swatch luxury brand collaborations with Swatch seems to be around creating enthusiasm and accessibility to all watch collectors, new and old. However, as a long-time die-hard Japanese watch and affordable watch enthusiast, I have to objectively say, at the 400 US dollar or 630 Australian dollar price point presented, this really brings this into Discord. There are definitely better everyday beaters, go anywhere, do anything style dive watches, especially in the serviceable automatic range, from brands such as Seiko, Orient, Hamilton, Tissot, Hell, even brilliant micro brands these days. I'd be seriously looking at pieces like Orient Makos, which are around the $200 to $400 range, and the Seiko Prospects line, which are around the $350 to $700 range. I have some previous experience with the original Swatch Moon Swatch, and even that at $260 US dollars wasn't it. It fit well on the wrist, but overall had a cheap and plasticky feel and everyone saw the issues relating to colour bleed posted everywhere online. I was talking with a friend today, and he really loves the release and design, so I'll hold out on the reality of what these new releases are really like, side by side with a Japanese diver, and hopefully these new scuba 50s are a class above. But on the reverse side also, it does open up Blanc Palm as a brand to many new enthusiasts who may not have encountered one of the oldest manufacturers yet and hopefully it opens up interesting conversations and connects people to amazing like-minded watch enthusiasts and communities who love horology. At the end of the day, the best watch is the one that's on your wrist, so buy what you authentically enjoy. And look, it's just a watch, if we really only wanted to tell the time, we'd all look at our smartphones anyway. <laughs> What's your favourite dial and combination you've seen? And will you be lining up to pick up a new watch acquisition on the 9th of September? Alright, that's it for now guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and good luck this weekend. Bye YouTube!